Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Aquatico Nautilus 2. Now, I previously reviewed a couple of their other models uh, in 2018. I would say this one's a bit more chunkier, heavier, and definitely, uh, you know, for you guys with bigger wrists. Although it does fit my wrist not too bad, uh, it's definitely a bigger one than the, the last one I reviewed. Anyway, let's go over some basic specifications. Comes in a standard blue cardboard box with your warranty card. You can check back in my other videos to see that box if you really want to. So the case itself is comprised of all 316L solid stainless steel all around. It's quite a uh, well-built watch. It's definitely a it's definitely a diving watch. We do get 500 meters of water resistance on this thing with screw down crown and a screw down case back, and it feels the part. I think this thing will last uh, on your diving which is always good to see. And in terms of actual dimensions, we are looking at 44 millimeters in terms of diameter. In terms of actual case thickness, we are looking at 14.5 millimeters. That is with the bezel and the flat sapphire crystal, which has double anti-reflective coating on the underside, it makes it extremely legible. Now, we do get also get a helium escape valve over here. And I think, uh, you know, for a 500 meter water resistant watch, you kind of do need that helium escape valve, although I doubt most of you will be going that deep. In terms of lug to lug distance, we are looking at 53 millimeters. In terms of the lug width, we are looking at 24 millimeters. Now, the uh, watch does come on this bracelet, and it's a solid bracelet with screw links, which is pretty nice for this price point. Let me remind you that this watch is only $299 with free worldwide shipping. And I think that's a pretty good deal. If you want to get a sense of the weight of this watch, this watch does weigh 160 grams on the bracelet with all the links included. If, you go, if you're going to take off some links, which you probably are, I mean, this can fit any size wrist, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's probably going to bring it down to 140, 135 grams or something of that nature. Now we do get, of course, uh, the bezel, which is 120 clicks with a ceramic polished bezel, which is loomed as well with C3 Superluminova to match the C3 Super, uh, Superluminova on all the applied markers, including these nice uh, paddle style hands here, which are really legible. This watch is definitely really legible. We get an off-white dial, uh, which definitely matches the navy blue color nice. Just reminds me of a very nautical theme. We also get that candle wick tipped orange seconds hand as well as orange accents on the chapter ring uh, which you know all match very good together so the bezel itself has some really good grip uh, you do get some nice coin edging over here on the side of the bezel and the actual bezel action is really sturdy I would say very tool like and everything does line up perfectly to the 12 o'clock position so that's always good to see. Now the movement inside of this watch is the Seiko NH35. Uh, most of you are definitely familiar with this movement. It's seen in a lot of micro brand watches. It has 24 joules, hand winding, hacking, beats at three hertz. And it's fairly accurate. This one gaining about six or seven seconds a day. It does also come with a date uh, complication, which is over at three in this window with a white background to match the dial. And yeah, heading to the crown now. We get that typical dolphin from Aquatico. Let me get a little closer here. As you can see, it's pretty neat. We also do get some nice chamfered edges over here, as you can see, which are polished, going all the way to the crown guards, which I thought was a nice little detail that they did there. It looks pretty neat. I have no issues there. The bracelet itself comes in nicely with the case. There's no gap or anything like that. And we also do get that uh, strip of polishing on the other side also which looks very nice. Now getting to the bracelet itself, uh, we do have the uh, standard Aquatico bracelet. As you can see, it's signed Aquatico. We get a flip open and we get a nice milled clasp, which uh, comes together pretty nice for micro adjustments. Everything feels pretty secure. No issues there, especially for this price point. The bracelet itself does have screw links, like I stated before, solid end links also, and it can definitely accommodate any wrist size. Now I want to show you guys the loom. I think the loom is pretty good on this one. We get loom on the bezel, loom on the hands, loom on all these applied markers. We also have a double marker at 12 if I didn't mention. Let me get you guys a loom shot, show you what it's all about. And if you like loom, this watch has plenty of it. This is C3 Super Luminova. As you can see, it's just as bright on the rotating bezel as the actual dial. The actual minutes hand seems a bit brighter though. Uh, everything is lit up. As you can see, it is not fading at all. This one will last through the night. I have tested it and no uh, complaints here on the loom. 
Here is the watch fitted on my 6.5 inch wrist. And like I stated, it's uh, 44 millimeters, but it doesn't really wear that big with a 53 millimeter lug to lug width. It definitely stands a little tall. You know, it's supposed to be a bold diving watch. It's a 500 meter diving watch, so it has to be a little thicker there. But other than that, you know, I think it looks pretty good on the wrist. There's the buckle there. Yeah, I think it, uh, it fits my wrist just fine. I do wear watches a little bigger. I wear anything from 40 to 45 to even 46 sometimes if I really want to push it. My wrist is about 6.5 inches. In the summer, it does swell up to about 6.75 though. And uh, let's get on to the case back now. So the case back is rather simple. We get that nice dolphin, which I really do like. Uh, you know, it goes along with the nautical theme here. You get some uh, etching over here. Aquatico Precision Dive Watch Automatic 500 meters and sapphire solid end links you can see them there and i think it looks pretty good case back is screwed down of course now to actually function this watch this crown is really is really grippy i mean it's like really grippy you have nice crown guards here as well so the grip is really good and a nice solid pop out here no wiggle whatsoever uh, the self winding is actually really 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 smooth i assume because the crown is a bit bigger i'm not 100 percent sure about that but first position, we get our quick set date here. And then your final position is your hacking position. We can set the time here on those nice long uh, paddle style hands, which are, look pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Very easy to function, very easy to screw in and screw out. No issues there whatsoever. So that's pretty much gonna be it for today. Uh, what do I like about the watch? I like that it's 500 meters water resistant. I would definitely feel safe taking this thing in any water situation. I like how it's quite bold, and I really do like the small details, like these polished edges here. I like the bezel grip. Uh, the bezel action is a big thing for me, uh, probably for you guys too. That's like the first thing I check out when I get a dive watch. And uh, this one definitely has some decent bezel action. Everything, uh, everything works well. You we also get the nice loom on the bezel. You know, for $300, I think you can do a lot worse, and I don't think you can do much better. I think it's a pretty good deal for $300 in my honest opinion. It's definitely well built, screw in links, nice brushed solid bracelet here. Everything looks pretty good on this watch. And uh, you know, most Aquatica watches are pretty good. I've never had a problem with one of them. I believe I've had three of them so far. I will leave a link down in the description below, letting you know where you can get one of these if you're interested. There are tons of different color variations. Um, this just is the navy blue and the kind of pearl off-white dial here with the orange accents. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. Definitely throw this video a like if you liked it. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much guys for tuning in again. Bye.